On Tuesday night, the Mavericks at home against the Wichita Thunder fell 8-4. First goal of the game was his fifth of the season as he had a three-point night from Mateo Gennaro. Yeah, it was a good work by uh, the Thunder to, uh, to get secondary opportunities and uh, just kind of a, a short angle shot with Gennaro in front, able to get the puck to the back of the net. Before the period was over, Stephen Fournier made it two to nothing Wichita with his first goal of the season. Yeah, that was a try, try, try again opportunity for him. That was the third crack at it. Fired the puck up into the front of the net and went to the back of that off muck stick. Then it went to three nothing Wichita on this lamp ladder from Anthony Beauregard. Yeah, Beauregard gained the zone and uh, was able to get a you know a pretty good wood on the shot and um, and get the puck to the back of the net. Jacob Graves made it a 4-0 lead for the Wichita Thunder. The Mavericks were able to get on the board. It was a rebound opportunity. Good job by the Mavericks' Justin Woods to crash to the net, hammer that puck home. And Jeremy McKenna for the Thunder increased their margin to 5-1. To yeah, it was, a good, it was a good job by the, by the Thunder as, as they gained the zone. McKenna was able to pick that puck up, or at the Thunder were able to pick the puck up, crash the net, and nobody back checked for Kansas City. Easy goal. Mavericks then on the power play got a lamplighter from Phil Marinaccio. Yeah, and once again, Marinaccio crashing the net hard, finding the rebound, finding the back of the net. After that, Jay Dickman increased the Wichita lead to 6-2 to at 8.57 of the third period. Dickman found that puck in the slot area, kind of slid off his stick, but was able to get past Bonner, who couldn't get up. Lighting the lamp next, Matthew Gagnon of the Thunder. Gagnon twisted wrister just up top of the circles. Puck, uh, good, good job to find him and, and get the puck to him to, to get it past Bonner. Peter Cronella added to the Wichita lead. Cronella with another twisted wrister. Picked that puck up top of the circle, spun over the glove side. Mavericks, the last two of the night at 1446, Giorgio Estefan connected. Yeah, Estefan with a twisted wrister. Actually, two in a row, really, for Kansas City to score those goals. Back-to-back -back Estefan and then Lemos as he gained the zone. So a lot of goals on wrist shots tonight. Mavericks fall by the final of 8-4 at the Cable Dahmer Arena against the Wichita Thunder.